Hello, welcome to today's webinar. Uh, today we'll be talking about CRM dashboards. My name is Kenneth Kabaki, and part of my job here at IBIS is to provide client solutions uh, pertaining to CRM. And this also involves customizing CRM to meet their uh, needs. So we'll go ahead and get started. The agenda for today is quite simple, actually. Um, the purpose of today's webinar is to sort of introduce you to CRM dashboard, define exactly what systems and personal dashboards are. And because this is a very demoable type of a webinar, we'll uh, proceed and show you exactly how to create personal dashboards. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the first the first section is to sort of define what a CRM dashboard. Uh, I like to think of CRM dashboards as windows into your CRM. So think about uh, when you log in into CRM in the morning, what do you want to see? How, how does your day look like? Uh, how did you perform yesterday? What are your goals? What are your targets? And what activities do you have planned for today? So a, a CRM dashboard can be exactly that to sort of give you an opening point into your CRM. And from there, you can drill into each and every entity and proceed to proceed with your day, basically. So, and also, uh, in addition to that, think of a sales, uh, uh, a sales manager perspective. They can be able to access uh, everything pertaining to everybody that's under them, and who is who is meeting their goals. What are the project pipelines that we have? Which opportunities are closing in the next few days? So, all this information can be accessible through a dashboard and it makes life much easier if you create a dashboard that's pertinent to how you want your day to go on as, as you go along. So uh, the, second, the, second, the second part of this is to define what are system dashboards and what are personal dashboards. Typically, uh, typically you have a few system dashboards that are available out of the box and by system it means a few things actually uh, a system dashboard is owned by the organization and anybody or typically anybody who has access to CRM and has the value security role will be able to access uh, the system dash uh, dashboards and by default it's available to most users depending on their on their access rights that they have uh, System dashboards, you cannot share system dashboards since they are at organization level. And system dashboards, only certain highly privileged users can edit them. In this case, it's typically your system admin that would edit in this kind of personal dashboards. I mean, this kind of uh, system dashboard. However, the good thing about CRM is that you you, have, you do have the ability to create personal dashboards which you can customize them exactly the way you want so if you wanted to be able to visualize orders for instance or just activities that that are coming to you that you're supposed to execute on uh, based on a particular day you can create dashboards that are specific for that role so we'll go ahead and get started with how to create a personal dashboard. It's actually quite simple and if you have access to CRM and all the entities that you, that you want to retrieve information from, it's fairly simple to create a, a personal dashboard. So we'll go ahead and get started. So I have here a CRM screen. So because I have access to the sales dashboard which is available out of the box as a system dashboard, I can I can basically replicate this in my personal dashboard or I can create an entirely new one. So for today's example, I will create um, a, a dashboard that I as a sales rep can use on a day-to-day -day basis to tell me which opportunities I have in the pipeline, how much, how much, how many sales order came from my customers in the past month or so. So to start the first step is from from the dashboard screen you select new and after you do that you have the option to define the type of layout that you're looking for so depending on the type of data that you want to, I mean or the type of visualization that you're looking for you can select one of these six setups uh, so for me because I only have a few to 
to show, I will just select the three column focus dashboard. And the next step is to create it. So I will refer to this as my daily sales dashboard. So while we're on this screen, uh, there are several ways to create dashboard. You can either create a dashboard, uh, a section within a dashboard that's uh, a chart or a list. And you can you also do have the option of embedding uh, an iframe and you can also include uh, a web resource which would be some a URL page that is the, that's, that's available inside of CRM. So for my case I will add a chart and then once you select a chart you primarily select the record type like from which entities do you want to retrieve this chart information so in my case I do want to access my opportunities and this will be my opportunities and the chart that I um, but that I'm interested in is the sales funnel Or the sales pipeline in this case so so this one basically shows me my sales pipeline based on my open opportunities and just to add on to this I will include something else I want to access all activities my open activities or all activities that I have and lastly I will also include a list of all my customers my active customers and because this is a, my daily sales dashboard I will also include I will also include all orders that I've placed through the system and there's one more section here so let's add all the appointments that I have so once you, once you've entered everything in all the sections below you can just save it close it and then go back to dashboards so because because this is a new dashboard we do have to refresh the page so that it can be available for selection so and that's as simple as pressing F5 so so under sales dashboard there should be a new one that's available under my dashboard section so if I select my my daily sales dashboards which is what I created I will be able to see everything that I created that's pertinent to what I'm looking for so here I have this the my open opportunities that I created this one gives me the vis visibility into all the activities that I have these are my active accounts uh, for this example I don't have any appointments set but if I did have one or oh, actually I can go ahead and create one right now so if I created a, a new appointment it will show up and if I close it it will so I will add So that's a new appointment that I've created and it will it's now available in the appointment section of my dashboard so that sort of gives you an idea of how powerful the dashboard is because just from a single screen you can do most about everything that you need to do depending on how you've created your dashboard a few more things pertaining to dashboards if, if you like your dashboard a lot and you'd like to share with someone else in your team uh, a, a colleague for instance uh, because it's a personal dashboard you do have the option of sharing it so to share a dashboard is as simple as selecting share dashboard from the top part of the screen and adding the particular user that you'd like to share with so in this case I will share with Miss Allison Turner 
and I, I will give her access to read and write it and even append to someone else or share with someone else. So next time Miss Allison Turner logs in, she will be able to access a similar dashboard that only shows her the uh, information that's relevant to her. So in, in the case of my open opportunities, it would be only her open opportunities. So that's a personal dashboard in a nutshell. And it's fairly, as you can see, it's fairly easy to create one. And it's powerful because it can give you visualization into how your day will look like and what information you want to add. So for more information, so for more information, you can visit our website. We do have quite a number of blogs on this subject, or if you, if you do have any specific questions, you can uh, email me at that address. Thank you so much for joining us and have a good day.